Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. You too, team keep it clean. Finally, it's, it's about time, ain't it? This was like something that it just seems like it was meant to happen. Adam Schefter just tweeted out a couple minutes ago, the Giants are finalizing a deal to hire former Ravens defensive coordinator Wink Martindale as their new defensive coordinator. So shout out to Wink. He gets to land on his feet. Uh, just walked away from the Ravens, said, I'm out of here. And now he's headed to the Giants. And I love it because this just made that Ravens and Giants game this year that much more interesting. Ooh, ooh this is going to oh, that's gonna be fun, man. It's going to be fun. And I believe it's, it's, it's at the Giants Stadium, too. So, Wink, you know you know he's going to be testing Giro, right? You know he's going to be like, oh, okay, I'm sending cover zero every play because Giro don't know how to defend it anyway. Another conversation for another day. So what are the Giants getting in Wink Martindale? Well, um, the Giants are getting somebody who is all kinds of aggressive. All kinds of aggressive. But the thing with Wink, the, the, the biggest problem that was really, I would say, yeah, his biggest issue um, is the lack of adjusting to the situation. Because Wink is not a bad defensive coordinator at all. Um, but... If the situation ain't right, Wink will still run things like, hey, everything's okay over here. Reason I say that is because with Ravens, again, Wink is blitz heavy. Blitz heavy, he will blitz you like crazy. But if you're missing this player, you're missing that player, you're missing that player, you got to change some things. So that would be the biggest knock with him that he takes a little too long to make some adjustments. But... If you got all your players, you got all your personnel, and like we said in the previous video with Wink, um, if, like I said, you got all your guys, and you got an interior pass rush, you're going to be just fine. You will be just fine. Wink has led the Ravens to being one of the top defenses for years, obviously minus last year, because last year, uh, yikes. But besides that, he's always had the Ravens as one of the top defenses. Top and run defense and the pass defense wouldn't be too far behind. Um, but you're going to get somebody that's not scared. Not scared. He does not care who the quarterback is. And that can be a good or a bad thing. Um, but he is not afraid to get after that quarterback. He's not afraid to send literally whoever. Whoever. Um, one thing that I would just hope for Giants players' sake is that they are good wrap-up tacklers. Because there have been a lot of times when we've seen Ravens players be sent in on a blitz. And somebody will get there, but they'll just miss that tackle. Oof, and that could be one of the craziest things. Because we will have a, a lot of almost sacks. So hopefully for the Giants case, uh, a lot of those almost sacks actually turn into uh, sacks. But Wink is somebody that the players love him. They, they love this dude. Love him like crazy. Um, and if... <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't trying to start nothing, but be careful. just in case it don't work out with Brian Dabo, people going to be pushing for Wink to be the head coach just because the dude brings such a swagger. He brings his confidence, man. He got his chain. He got his J's on. Wink is cool, man. He, he too cool, man. And Wink, he is the type of coach that, he, uh, well, not even the type of coach, the type of person. Look you in the face and say, hey, I'm going to punch you in the face. You're going to feel it. It's going to hurt. You're going to fall down. I'm probably going to knock you out. And that's going to be that. And he'll say something like that with a straight face. He won't be laughing. He won't be playing around. And then he'll do it. So, again, Wink, he, he loves what he does. And he does what he does. And he will do what he does no matter what you do. He will continue to do what he does. So, hopefully, what he does with the Giants, minus when they play the Ravens, but hopefully what he does with the Giants will continue to have success because uh, even if it's not working, that, that's where the problem lies. So, but I, I hope that everything works out for Wink. I hope things go better than expected uh, for the Giants in that defense now. So, shout out to Wink for getting a job up there in New York. Uh, so just like Wink is when it came to being with the Baltimore Ravens, just like he probably told the Baltimore Ravens on his last little uh, conversation with John Harbaugh and Eric DeCosta and them, Wink told them boys, I'm out. <laughs>